Hi, in this short video, we will cover how to activate the Azure AD features on a working Tenable AD environment. The first thing you will need to activate this feature is a working Tenable AD environment already connected to an ADDS, Microsoft Active Directory environment. As you can see here, my platform is already connected to a domain. I'm seeing AD users and I'm having some indicator of exposures already available. The first thing that we have to do to enable the features is actually go to the configurations, select Tenable Cloud and activate the two um, I mean, features that I have here. The first one named Tenable Cloud Service is required for us to capture all the data, including the Microsoft AD data that will allow us to create a unified view with all the identity. So I'm going to activate it. Normally, thanks to the license, the connection should go smoothly and you should see a green field here. But I will also need to activate the Azure AD options that will turn my environments as an Azure AD ready uh, environment. I'm going to activate <coughs> the, the checkbox. And as you can see, my a web application is reloading. After the reload, you will see one new icon's name, Identity Explorer. You will also notice if you go to Indicator of Exposures that now you are seeing an error message as a banner, banner telling us that you are unable to retrieve Azure AD data. This is expected. It means that the platform, the platform is not fully configured yet. So coming back to <coughs> the configuration options, you will see that the first thing Azure AD options, the Azure AD features requires is a, an access key and a secret key. You will be able to get it from your Tenable IO console. So I'm, the, I'm back in workspace. I'm gonna click on my accounts, select my accounts. I will go to API keys. I'm gonna generate my API keys and I'm gonna copy paste these two values into my Tenable AD console. These API keys will allow me to connect to Tenable Clouds and at the end to receive Azure AD data. I'm going to activate, and you can see that if everything works smoothly, you will get a green pill as well, indicating you that the data is fully uh, activated. The feature is now fully activated. So <clears throat> if you look at uh, the indicator of exposure, you will still get a error message because you have no tenants activated, but the feature will be uh, fully ready. The next thing you have to do is add a new tenant. Again, when you activate the Azure AD features, you will see a new menu appearing in the forest management panel. You're going to click on it. You're going to click on add a tenant and you will give a name. Let's say, look, QA dev, name it the way you want. And they're going to ask you for credentials. So you, in your case, you will get no inputs. I'm having some of that tenants, but you can ignore it. What you will have to do is create a, a new credential. The credential will, I mean, you will have to add it into the TIO console in the settings credential view. But first, I mean, let me show you how it looks. So if I go to a tenable IO settings, I go to credential. And here you are seeing my, my, Okta, uh, my Okta credential, the previous one that I, was, that I was using. What you will have to do is add an Azure AD credential. To do that, you click on create credential. You select, <coughs> you look for Azure, or Microsoft Azure, and then they're gonna ask you for tenant ID and application ID and client secrets. So to get this information, you will have to actually connect to the a Microsoft Azure AD environment that you would like to, to monitor. So I'm, I'm having one here. This is a my own a Azure AD tenant, and I will be willing to connect it a, to my platform. So what I will have to do is select Azure Active Directory. I will have to go to App Registration. I will click on New Registrations. I will create one secret that we name Look Demo. I don't need to fill the other information. I'm going to click on register. It's going to create me a new app registration and I will get my tenant ID and application ID. So I'm going to copy paste the value. 
So this is my tenant ID. Here is my application ID, and I will need the client secrets. To get a client secret, I will need to go to certificate and secrets, click on new client secrets, name, I'm going to make it expire in 24 months, click on add, and here I get a value that is actually uh, the secrets I was looking for. Click here. Oh, I need to give a name. Uh, environment, click on create. And my credential is now a fully, fully ready. So now I can jump back to my console, refresh my credential. This time I'm seeing my new credential. Click on add. And my tenant is now fully ready and fully enabled. So now the only thing I have to do is wait. Wait a few minutes for the Tenable Cloud to scan my uh, Azure AD tenants, collect the information that we need, and display it into the console. Usually it takes between 10 to 30 minutes, depending on the size of your um, Azure AD environments. So let's wait a few minutes and see how it goes. <laughs> 